ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the December 2018 Support and Save Thor News 48-hour fundraising marathon. And we got about 47 hours left where you can help me continue to bring you awesome science through your contributions and donations via my PayPal link, which will be left in the information box. And I support you and appreciate you supporting and appreciating me. One of the things that makes me great is the fact that, A, I do everything I can to say to stay as objective as possible. So I call out our space agencies when I feel they need to be called out. And I say, hey, good job when I feel they're doing a good job. And so one of the things I don't like is our attention to Mars. We're like, we have like 45 missions we've sent to Mars, like two to Jupiter, one to Venus, and one to Mercury. And that's over the whole life span. It's just weird. I mean, Mars is a dead planet, which almost never has anything exciting going on. Except for now. This is very exciting. I thought it was. This came November 21st, 2018, as a panic was sparked across social media when a 950-mile-long cloud spotted over Martian volcano, and it has staying power. So here is the photograph in question, and it is happening over one of the volcanoes in the Martian Olympus Mons volcano family. And from what I recall, NASA was quick to say, hey, that's not a volcano eruption. That's a cloud. Coincidentally, the InSight mission, which just landed there, is there to check and scientify about earthquakes and volcanoes on Mars. So, coincidence? I think not. And another thing that I pointed out a while back was India sent an orbiter to Mars for like a hundred grand. Usually takes NASA like a, or maybe it was a hundred million. Usually takes NASA a couple billion. And the second India got its orbiter there, NASA signed him to a deal and then no information ever came out about it, which is fascinating, dude. And the pictures they showed were a little different than most pictures we'd seen. So there is some mystery going on in outer space and definitely around Mars. A mysterious white colored plume extending some 950 miles, just over 1500 kilometers, has been spotted on the leeward side of the Arcean Mons volcano on Mars. And another thing, like, I don't know, I was joking the other day, where I was looking on some site where I was talking about, okay, vol between now and 2050, professional science says volcano activity on Earth is average. Doesn't matter if it's now, 20 years from now, 2040, doesn't matter how many volcanoes are erupting, it's average. It says there are far too many volcanoes on Earth to, to, to monitor them all. So they monitor carbon, which you can't see, you can't t taste, you can't smell. Um, that's way easier to monitor, apparently. So yeah, even volcano science, whether on Earth or all over the solar system, is a bit shaky and questionable. Unlike other Martian cloud structures that seem to poof in and out of existence, this one has staying power, with the lengthy plume hovering near Arcea Mons since September 13, and seen as recently as November 12, according to the European Space Agency. The agency's Mars Express camera has been recording images of the mountainous cloud. Montane clouds are very common on Mars, but it was the length of the cloud and its duration that makes it interesting. It says, Francois, forget it, a senior research scientist at the National Center for Scientific Research in Paris. Usually, it is more localized to the volcano. 
Oh, interesting. Forget it and his colleagues could rule out volcanic spewing as the cause of the cloud, because the Arziamans volcano has been inactive for at least 10 million years, and its peak activity occurred even longer ago, about 150 million years ago. At approximately 12 miles high, Arziamans is the southernmost volcano of a group of three ancient volcanoes located on an elevated plateau known as the Tharsis region on Mars. Another thing that's weird, I'm pretty sure this is an amateur photograph, and we have, like, I don't know, several orbiters, landers, rovers, spider bots on Mars that are working. I mean, we even put up the one that was going to, like, look at the carbon and the oxygen and all the atmosphere. We get, like, one photograph a year. So we got, like, ten robots there that are working, and they all average about a photograph a year. Holy crap. You know, the only people who can get away with that is government agencies, man. That is not acceptable. I guess people are way too busy fighting about politics to question why we haven't replaced the Hubble telescope, which is 20 years old. If you're a space agency, you would think having a good telescope would be your go-to thing. It's like being a gunslinger and not having a good gun or not having a gun. How goofy is that? It is super goofy. So yeah, but I won't go as far as to call space agencies a clown car, because they get mad when I do that. The development of the plume, called an orographic or lee cloud, is due to a combination of factors that are common in mountain regions on Mars and even on Earth. Dust and cooler air are the main ingredients. The images of the plume were taken after a global dust storm had finally subsided on Mars. Hey, maybe somebody popped off a hydrogen bomb. You know, they're trying to create atmosphere there. You should look into the history of all the times we've detonated hydrogen bombs to see if we could create atmosphere. It's a fascinating subject. But hey, would the military and oil industrial complex lie to you? Asterisks, of course they would. While dust storms occur, sometimes they develop into global storms, as happened this year. The dust storms create darkened conditions and reduced heat at the planet's surface and increased absorption of solar radiation and heating by the dust particles in the high atmosphere. Forget it said, just like tropical air on Earth, when this unusually warm air encounters a topographic feature, such as a mountain or ancient volcano, says such as Arziamans. Disturbance in the air parcel is created as it is forced upward and over the volcano to even higher elevation. Now remember, you don't have to have necessarily a lava eruption when you're a volcano. The vents can air out gas and air. At higher elevations, the air temperatures are cooler and the atmosphere is thinner, he added. I wish I was cooler and thinner, but I'm pretty cool. I'm not very thin right now, though. All right, I'll get there. When the air cools to the dew point, the water condenses and water ice clouds form. So does it rain on Mars? Yeah, dude, man. I mean, they literally have orbiters that are flying around this planet. Why can't we get 60 frames a second of this thing? You know? I don't know. Governments don't like to talk about volcanoes much. Given the conditions, the ice particles do not sublimate, transition directly from ice to water vapor. As a result, the cloud transports water, ice, a long way, constantly being renewed by the wind. Forget it said. He added that the plume on Mars is similar to the varying duration of the contrails from airplanes. Uh-oh, they're chemtrailing Mars, bro. Chemtrailing Mars. That is so crazy. These hot exhaust trails from planes are also rich in water vapor. If the air is cold and humid, the exhaust condenses and may freeze, similar to what happens with the warm, humid Martian air when it hits these higher topographic features. 
I want to remind you guys, it is storming all over the solar system. Pretty much every planet we have, we are monitoring from Earth has some type of increased storm activity. I believe it's from all the planets being on the same side, or all the gas giants on the same side of the sun. It's called planetary orbital angular momentum, and it affects everything, but the, the red sunspot on Mars is doing weird things. I mean, on Jupiter. Neptune is having major storms. Uranus is having major storms. Mars had the largest dust storm in recorded history. You know, Earth is having major storms, dude. You know, it's something. We're in a star field, and we have an entire solar system. Uh, and everything evolves and changes, except for our civilization, which is in retrograde. All right, where are we at? Chemtrails <laughs> on Mars. Chemtrails on Mars? I should put that in the title, but I won't. These hot exhaust trails from airplanes are also rich in water vapor. If the air is cold and humid, the exhaust condenses and may freeze, similar to what happens with the warm, humid Martian air when it hits these higher topographic features. Maybe the billion dollar high rises on Mars that are trillionaires own are chemtrailing for solar radiation management, for solar radiation management, just like they are here on Earth. Asterisk, 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 asterisk. As for why the Martian plume is so long lasting, ooh, forget it suggested it has to do with high humidity. The more humid the air, the more likely that the Lee cloud can renew itself on the waves of air for such a long distance on the leeward side of the volcano. And if you're going to join the Mars mission, LOL what, 30, 40, 50, 100 years from now, remember, if it's really humid there, it's going to be hard to have a cool hairdo. Yeah, I banged that joke up pretty bad. We can speculate that before encountering the volcano, the air was super saturated with water va vapor so that once condensed, the water ice cannot sublimate. He added, the fact that the same formations did not replicate themselves farther north to the other volcanoes may be an indication that the northern hemisphere is just starting its winter solstice. It's typically a more cloud-free period. Forget it. Forget about it, said. The southern hemisphere, where Arziamans is located, is just starting its summer. All right. So, yeah. I don't know, dude. I'm saying... I bet it's volcanic activity. That's my Thor news theory, and I'm sticking to it. But I'm open to a discussion. Like I said, I don't claim to know everything. Unlike the majority of people who own smartphones. Anyway, this has been another Martian mystery involving volcanoes brought to you by Thor News. And so, if you can help keep me around kicking ass, I would super appreciate it. Because I think I'm going to need a Christmas miracle in the next 47 hours. So I will stay at this marathon and do what I can. And if you can't afford it or don't want to, just say prayers for me if you can. Or good thoughts. Uh, unfortunately, I had to get rid of my P.O. box because it got compromised. I'm telling you, it's, it ain't easy talking to people about the truth. But I'll try and redo it up again if I can. All right, everybody, stay cool and peace out. God bless everyone. Oh, and I want to add, I'm sick of Mars, dude. Seriously, more Venus, more Jupiter. Send a probe to Eris. I'm sick of Mars, bro. I mean, 50 years of photos of Martian dirt. This was probably the most exciting Martian story I've ever come across, though. Okay, what are you wearing? <laughs>